Leave It to Beaver was a 1950s sitcom about the all-American Cleaver family. Mom, June, was played by Barbara Billingsley, and Dad, Ward Cleaver, was played by Hugh Beaumont. They had two sons, Wally, who was played by Tony Dow. He was the eldest. And Theodore, he was played by Jerry Mathers. He was better known as the Beaver. And they would come home daily with new troubles that their middle-class parents would help them solve. The series ran for six seasons and 234 episodes, first on CBS, and then it changed the second season to ABC, and it stayed there throughout the rest of its uh, tenure. Beaver was a typical rambunctious youth, more interested in pet frogs than in girls. But Wally, just entering his teens, was beginning to discover other things in life. The counterpoint between the two, plus some good writing and acting, lent the series its charm. Larry, Whitey, and Gilbert, among others, were Beaver's pals and classmates in Miss Lander's class at Grant Elementary School. Today we're going to look at Whitey, played by Stanley Fafara, and Miss Lander's, played by the lovely Sue Randall. Stanley Albert Farfara was born in San Francisco, California in 1957. At the age of seven, his mother took him to an open casting call for a new family television series titled Leave It to Be Beaver. He had been working in commercials and television westerns since the age of four. He earned the part of Whitey Whitney one of Beaver Cleaver's best friends. Stanley remained on Leave It to Beaver for six years. After the show's cancellation in 1963, he attended North Hollywood High School. He be became friendly with the rock band Paul Revere and the Raiders, and he reportedly moved in with the band for a time. It was during this time that he developed an alcohol habit and he also began to use drugs then. At his parents' urging, Stanley went to live with his sister in Jamaica, where he tried his hand at painting. However, he continued to drink and use narcotics. He then returned to Los Angeles at the age of 22, where he was married briefly. He supported himself by dealing drugs. In the 1980s, he was arrested for breaking into pharmacies seven different times. He was sentenced to a year in jail after being arrested and convicted for an eighth time on a burglary charge. After his release from jail, he tried several jobs, but eventually returned to dealing drugs. Stanley later developed an addiction to heroin and was in and out of rehab centers for many years. He finally became sober in 1995. Stanley spent the final eight years of his life clean and sober, initially living in a house for recovering addicts and alcoholics, and then in subsidized apartments in downtown Portland, Oregon. He lived on Social Security checks of $475 a month until his hospitalization in 2003. Due to his addiction to heroin, he had contracted hepatitis C. Stanley died on September 20th, 2003, his 54th birthday. Stanley is buried in Redland Pioneer Cemetery in Redland, Oregon. Now the second person we're going to look at is Ms. Landers. Ms. Landers is played by Sue Randall, and she was born Marion Burnside Randall in 1935. She was born in Philadelphia, and she was the daughter of a prominent real estate consultant. Sue Randall began acting on the stage 
at the age of 10 in the production of Alden Park Players. Her recurring role as the teacher on Leave it to Beaver spanned the years of 1958 to 1962, when she was actually in her 20s. She appeared in 28 episodes of the popular sitcom after replacing Diane Brewster, who played Miss Canfield during the first season. Her first appearance as Miss Landers was in the Leave it to Beaver episode Ward's Problem, which originally aired October 16, 1958. She also appeared in many other series, including CBS's Twilight Zone, Have Gun Will Travel, Gunsmoke, Pete and Gladys, Bonanza, The Real McCoys, 77 Sunset Strip, The Fugitive, The Rifleman, she made guest appearances as well on, on Perry Mason and appeared also in five episodes of the long-running syndicated Western anthology Death Valley Days. Sue retired from her television acting career at an early age, reportedly for uh, lingering compl complications that she had from injuries she suffered in 1967 from an automobile accident. Her last credited television performance occurred in 1967. She played the part of Ruth on an episode of Vacation Play Playhouse, a summer replacement series that showcased a variety of unsold pilots. Two years after her work on Vacation Playhouse, she returned to her hometown of Philadelphia where she became involved with a variety of professional associations and participated in telethons and other charitable events to raise money for things like multiple sclerosis, blindness, and poor childhood education. Sue Randall died of lung cancer on October 26, 1984 at Pennsylvania Hospital in Philadelphia. She was 49. Thank you, Stanley and Sue. Your lives were cut way too short, but you live on through the reruns of Leave it to Beaver and still provide us with plenty of laughs. Thanks for watching.